Good day everyone. For this particular video, we'll be discussing about introduction to industrial chemistry and tribology, focusing on marine engineering operations. To start with, let's now understand what is industrial chemistry. Industrial chemistry for marine engineers refers to the application of chemical concepts and processes to handle issues and optimize different elements of maritime operations. So take note here, we'll be discussing chemistry concepts particularly different substances that we use on board the vessel that is also important in maritime operations, such as your water, fuels, and lubricants. The study and use of chemical knowledge in the design, maintenance, and operation of maritime machinery, systems, and structures is also included. So we need to connect chemistry to the study of machines at the same time. For example, corrosion prevention, at the same time, the use of lubrication. By focusing on topics such as fuel composition, lubrication, corrosion protection, water treatment, and emergency response, this discipline is critical for guaranteeing the efficiency, safety, and environmental sustainability of marine activities. So we are studying industrial chemistry in order for us to be in efficient in operations, to maintain a safe working environment, and most of the time, and the most important one, would be for us to protect also our environment during operation. Next would be tribology. The top of tribology for marine engineering, this is a specialized field that deals with the study and management of friction, wear, and lubrication in the context of maritime applications. So we basically use lubrication to aid the operations of our machinery systems in order to prevent overheating and also other factors like corrosion and also prevention from damage or wear and tear. It involves understanding the interactions between surfaces and relative motion and aims to optimize the performance, reliability, and longevity of mechanical components used in marine machinery and systems. So technically, we use lubrication to reduce friction. And to talk about lubrication, this is actually part in the study of tribology. This is basically the science and engineering of friction. Tribological principles are crucial for selecting appropriate materials, designing effective lubrication systems, and implementing maintenance strategies to reduce frictional losses, prevent wear, and ensure the smooth operation of marine equipment. Our goal here is to have a longer, uh, longer lifespan for our machineries through the use of lubrication. That's why we also need to study tribology. In the realm of marine engineering, tribology plays a pivotal role in enhancing efficiency, reducing downtime, and maintaining the integrity of critical components. Take note here, downtime is when we need to stop operation because a part of our system has been damaged because of our negligence or we forgot to use lubrication in the process. So we need to study tribology at the same time in order for us to know when to apply lubrication and also the type of lubrication that we need to use in our operation, contributing to the overall operational success of maritime activities. So these are some of the importance of ICHEM, or industrial chemistry and tribology, to marine engineering. The first one is fuel composition and combustion. Understanding the chemical composition of marine fuels is crucial for optimizing combustion processes in engines. So different engines also has different types of fuels that can be used on it. Efficient combustion may not only enhance performance but also reduce emissions or environmental concerns, contributing to environmental sustainability and compliance with regulations. Next would be lubrication and wear prevention. We also already mentioned it. Uh, during our discussion on tribology. Chemistry plays a pivotal role in formulating effective lubricants to minimize friction and wear in marine machinery. Take note, our goal here is to prevent or to minimize damage through pr friction prevention and through the application of lubrication. Proper lubrication ensures the longevity of the engines and reduces maintenance equipment requirements improving overall operational reliability of our process. 
Next one would be corrosion protection. This is a common problem in terms of maritime operation. Marine structures and equipment are exposed to harsh environments, making corrosion a significant concern, especially most of the time we are being bombarded with seawater in our operation. And at the same time, um, polluted air during the process. Chemical solutions for corrosion protection and inhibitors help prevent or preserve the integrity of materials extend the life of marine assets. So as we all know, corrosion could also potentially damage our machineries and also our vessel itself. Therefore, we need to know basic information about corrosion protection in order to have a longer lifespan for our machines and also our vessel. Next to the water treatment and ballast operations. Chemistry is involved in treating water use in various maritime processes, such as ballast water management. Not, not only this, we also need to have basic knowledge and literature on water treatment, especially we are using water in boiler operations and cooling our engine. Proper water treatment prevents the introduction of invasive species and maintains the structural integrity of vessels. And this could also help in preventing corrosion along the process. Fifth would be environmental impact and compliance. Chemistry is instrumental in evaluating and mitigating the environmental impact of marine operations. Analyzing these charges, influence, and emissions helps ensure compliance with environmental regulations and supports sustainable practices. So in terms of sustainable practices, we also need to have a little background of chemistry in order for us to understand better marine pollution. That's just the annexes. Annex one to six of Marfort. Number six, material science for marine construction. The selection of materials for constructing marine vessels involves considerations of corrosion resistance, durability, and grip. So I think this is already discussed in engineering materials, but some of it may be touched here in our study of industrial chemistry and technology. Chemistry contributes to material science guiding the development of advanced materials suitable for marine applications. Seventh would be on handling chemicals, safety in handling and storage. Knowledge of chemical properties is essential for safety handling and storing hazardous materials, commonly found in marine operations. Proper protocols based on chemical understanding mitigate the risk of accidents and ensure the safety and personnel safety of personnel and the marine environment as well. So in terms of safety in handling and storage of chemicals, we need to understand our MSDS or the material safety data sheet provided by suppliers of chemicals that we use on board the vessel in order to know some facts about it, how to control it, how to handle it, and at the same time, how to store it and to prevent possible leakage or spills during operation. And the last importance of chemistry or industrial chemistry and typology to marine engineering would be emergence response and spill control. In the event of chemical spills or accidents, understanding the chemical properties involved in is crucial for effective emergence response and spill control measures. So most of the time we heard news about oil spill. So we need to understand the chemistry of our oil in order for us to also obtain a possible solution on how to control it during leakage or during spillage. This knowledge helps minimize the impact on the environment and facilitates a swift and informed response. So I hope you're able to take a grasp of how important chemistry and tribology is in our operation as marine engineering. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our next video. Bye-bye.